Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Let's take a look at what we were doing, shall we? Uh, do we have a clean slate? Wow, we sure do, don't we? Miss Karend, Miss Karkind. I always pronounced it as Miss Karend. Miss Karkind. Uh, the ultimate heist and random things all over the place. Okay. Wow. Man, there's going to be so much to do off camera. So much. I might stream it, but in all honesty, it just seems kind of boring. Um, oh, I wanted to see if, yeah, we've done the killing fields. Okay, we should be able to check it. Um, it should be somewhere in the middle. Uh, we should be able to go to completed quests and then look for the killing fields, which would have been not anywhere kind of recently since we've done so much, especially all of the... Especially all of the Fighters Guild quests. I guess it doesn't really matter because we talked to the Odile guy. Yeah, this is all of the Fighters Guild quests. We talked to the Odile guy and he is not uh, giving us anything. It should be called the Killing Fields and it should be around here. But no, this is all the Knights of the Nine. So unless we beat it before then, this is all of the uh, Daedric quests. We've got some random... Side quests thrown in there. Man, we must have done this forever ago. Come on, man. We have to have done it. Tutorial? Oh, that, that must have updated. The Killing Fields. The Killing Fields. The Killing Fields. Killing Fields in the name of. I've got nothing in my brain. Nothing floating around. It's just all up there. Just a bunch of random thoughts that sometimes coagulate together. Seriously? Yeah, and that's the Shivering Isles. Well, okay. It may be at the very bottom. Let's double check just to make sure. There should be a quest from this gentleman here. Valis Odil. I don't think anybody else. Oh, there's Irana. I hope I can help. Well, I hoped you could help too, but apparently not. Okay, we must have either done it or... I'm not sure. Anyway, see you later, alligator. Alright, let's go ahead and do a brand new different quest then. Let's go to the world map. And I'm feeling that there's something... Maybe here? At Way? Now I don't really want to go to Way because, um... See, I was going to do a Way Protein joke, but Way Protein is just good for you, right? Uh, I've gone to the gym a lot of times in my life, but I've never actually... Why is the quality so good now? Oh, now it's getting jumpy. But it's better, it seems. Anyways, let's talk to this fella. Aylwind Morawald. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if Way Protein is good or bad for you. Um, because although I've been to the gym a million times, I've just never done like protein shake i've never done the whole protein shake thing so i don't really know the distinction between whey protein and normal protein you know stranger there comes a time in every man's life when he has to admit that he's lost the fight well i fought and i've lost who did i lose to who is my great enemy oh don't laugh it's a bunch of damn fish hey we've all been there actually laugh in his face ah see i knew you'd laugh some big hero you are. You're all the same. Nothing to do but laugh at an old man and his troubles. Ah, it's okay, man. All right, give me your laugh quest. At the pathetic old man, have No, we? no. To the pit with you. Leave me alone. Oh my God! Will he not give me this quest now? Wait, are you serious? Come back to laugh at the. Oh <laughs> uh, wow. What? Where is this auto save? Well, we have a save, so it doesn't really matter. Where is this auto save at? What? Okay. What the hell? I I mean, I'm assuming there's some way to make him give you the quest even after doing that. That's surprising. All right, pal. Um, I'm trying to pick all the options that I wouldn't normally pick since I'm playing as a morally ambiguous character. You know, stranger. How can I help? Go on and... Wait. Help? Oh, well then. I'm a fisherman. Or at least I was. Until one of those slaughterfish damn near took my leg off. I was collecting their scales, see? I had a contract with this young alchemist. You wouldn't believe what he was paying for those scales. Then, last month, one of the bastards got a hold of my leg. Took me right out of the business. But this alchemist, he needs the scales right away. Oh. Okay, about those scales. The alchemist was paying so much for the scales that I'm close to having enough saved so that I can retire. But now I can't get out there to the lake. Not with this lake. I only needed 12 more scales. Can you believe it? I was so close. 
I've picked up a few things in my travel. If you head out there and bring me back the 12 scales that I need, I can make it worth your time. Help an old fisherman out, won't you? Oh, I'll get you those scales, you beautiful, crusty, old, disgusting, world-weary-looking man. But at least you got that headband. If Chrono triggers any indi- If Chrono's uh, trigger is any indication, that thing gives you, like, plus one speed. Okay, so we got a quest here. Go fish. This dude wants me to kill 12 uh, slaughter fish, which apparently is in this lake right here. Did I never come here for the Nurn Root? I swear to God if I didn't, because this would have been an excellent place to look for Nurn Root. Although I'm not spotting one on the surface just now. Anyways, let's head into the water, and do we have some sort of, like, AoE spell that could just, like, uh, basically, like, you know, toss a grenade into the water and blow up all of these fish? I don't think so. Let's just toss, let's just jump in. Toss ourselves in. Um, okay, so we'll go to directly to the quest marker, but I believe it's just... Uh! Rumer Slaughterfish. Brood Mother. More like a rude mother. Rumer Slaughterfish. It's not even called a scale. It's just called a slaughterfish. Okay, so that's uh, one. We need 12. Oh, yeah, I think it does give me the quest markers to each and every single one. There's another one. Are you a brood mother too? Well, you can't all be brood mothers. That doesn't make any sense. I'll take that. Okay, ten more. One of these little jerks are right over here. Another brood mother. And this one's got a lockpick. This is this one chose the thief class. Uh, okay, nine more. I'm surprised it just like tells us exactly where they're at. Okay, that one's a flipper. I guess that one shows acrobatics. Eight more. There's another one right here, unless it didn't update the quest marker. Oh, God, is it in the rock? Nope, the quest marker just updated for some weird reason. Maybe it's spawning them. Okay, I think that's seven now. Yeah, I think it might be spawning them um, after I... Yeah, see? When I kill one, the quest marker takes a bit to update. But I guess maybe not, because... Maybe not because, um, you know, when you can uh, complete a, tw uh, qu a quest and then it takes a little bit for the quest to actually pop up, uh, the quest update. So maybe that's just what's happening here. Take that. Thank you very much. Okay, wait for the quest to update. I think we have like four or five left. Uh, yeah, this quest is pretty mindless, but if I remember right, you do get a pretty interesting reward. I remember the first time that I ever upgraded... Or sorry, the first time that I ever completed, the first time that I ever did like 100% playthrough and made sure to do every single quest in Oblivion. Um, this was when I was in either high school or middle school. I remember that this was one of the last ones because I didn't realize how many settlement quests there were. Uh, where is this body at? I didn't realize how many settlement quests there were and then I... Um, yeah, and like this one, I was like, wait, what? I didn't even know this this quest existed. Okay, well, with the bit of time we have left, let me discuss Fallout 76. Um, I'm not going to make like a first opinions video because everybody pretty much has that covered. I think everybody kind of has, has an idea at this point in time. Um, I'm excited because it's going to be good for my series, Skyrim's Hidden Treasures. Or Hidden, hidden Treasures, I keep wanting to call it Skyrim's Hidden Treasures. It's going to be good for that. It's going to be really good since the map is four times bigger. It seems like it's going to be the exact uh, exact type of... Man, my brain's just doing really weird... Th this might be the last one. Really weird things with speech today. Um, it's going to be good for me, and also my girlfriend's excited to play it, so we'll have a good time with it. But, man, does it look like Fallout 4, like, multiplayer add-on. I mean, it to me seems like a literal $20 upgrade to Fallout 4 to, like, add multiplayer. The thing that is the best thing about it is the new terrain. It does look beautiful. It looks like, uh, you know, uh, all the valleys and such. It looks like a really cool area to explore. But that is the main thing. To me, the $60 price point um, just comes from just comes from the, the new map. Like, literally, the gameplay looks like Fallout 4 with multiplayer and maybe like a $20 add-on to add multiplayer and that is being that's being conservative it's conservative it should be cheaper than that it should be cheaper so I don't know man I, I totally understand why everybody's disappointed with it um, I really do because looking at the gameplay who boy they just made Fallout 4 like 
multiplayer um, with the new map. And the new map does look expansive, does look really cool, and does look really varied. But it's Fallout 4 multiplayer. I've acquired 12 Rumeir Slaughterfish Scales. I should bring them to Eowyn Murrowald at the Way Settlement as soon as I can. Okay, let's put this away. You did get a blade increase, which is nice. That's the point of uh, switching over to this. Let's head, let's head over to Way. <laughs> Way protein. <laughs> get. Get. Uh. Hey, what's up, pal? I don't know what I'll do if you don't get those scales for me. I've saved so much for my retirement. But it's just not enough. Well, wouldn't you know it, I've got them. By the nine, you've got the scales. Thank you. Let it never be said that there are no kind souls in this world. I'll give you this ring in trade. I have no use for it anymore. But I imagine that they would be very valuable to someone like you. I have a feeling it would Thank as you, well. Thank you, stranger. You've shown me kindness, and I will think of you in the long, comfortable days ahead. No problem. You know, you're a nice guy. What do we get? Jewel of the Rumair. And I remember, is this, okay, I remember this ring is actually good, but I, I, I'm thinking it's either water breathing or water walking. It, it must be, but you find so many things with those enchantments. So, I mean, that's not that great. Okay, we're looking for the Jewel of the Rumair. The Jewel of the Rumair, water breathing on cell, fortify athletics, four points. Okay, so it basically, um, it's the ring that you want to wear, I suppose, if you want to grind out athletics, which, somebody did the math, thank you for doing the math, whoever you are, you beautiful little, give you a little kiss, right on the cheek, uh, and they figured, like, to go to, what was it, seven, it wasn't even, was it to a hundred, I guess it was to a hundred, or was it to seven, I don't remember, I don't think it was to hundred, to basically, to grind my athletics, up to either a hundred or maybe it was even less. It was gonna take like twenty-seven hours or something. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good on that respect. That sounds just oh, awful. Uh, I could do it overnight. Uh, overnight though, I'd have to use it. Oh, you know what? It might not even work like that though, since this is, since this is PC. God, my brain is making my speech like so awful today that it sounds like I'm drunk or something. Um, okay, we're gonna do another quest. We're gonna pop right on over to... Ooh, since we're here, might as well go to, uh, Dunbarrow Cove. Um, yeah, yeah, I could do the thing, you know, when you're, when you use the controller, you use a rubber band, you just basically swim in a circle, and it would just take an entire day. <laughs> God, but Oblivion, yeah, I don't even think that would work, because I wouldn't be able to do anything else on my PC, which I literally use for everything, streaming and rendering and uploading and editing, you know, everything, so... I don't even think I could do it, honestly. I'd have to set oh, set aside literally more than an entire day. Like, do you realize? Ugh. Yeah. I hope I can help. So, no, I'm not going to be getting the skills to 100. Definitely not. Uh, always, as I've said, the main priority in my 100% uh, playthroughs have been the quests. When I say 100%, that's what I mean. 100%ing every single quest that you can possibly do in a playthrough. I want you to head out and plunder. Of course. Okay, thanks, pal. We go grab the gold. Got so many unique items in here that I'm going to have to move eventually. There's a lot of things that I got to do off camera. A lot, a lot, a lot. Like I said at the start, I might stream it, but it's just boring, man. Some of it's just way too boring. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff here, and we're basically looking for the gold. Um, not sure how much it is. Yeah, 2K sounds right. Man, remember that stuff? Remember, remember that? Remember the olden days of video games? 2K Sports. It's in the game. Remember that? That might still be a new thing. I haven't played a sports game in I don't know how long, but I used to play the shit out of, um, uh, what was it? Uh, NCAA football. Um, played the shit out of that, and then also Madden. I actually preferred NCAA for, for I don't know why, because I, you know, I, I don't know shit about sports. Never been into sports ever. But for some reason, I just got really big into NCAA, and I remember being in middle school and, like, thinking, man, I really can't wait to get home and uh. play some uh, NCAA football. I don't know why. It must have been the rule set or the plays, like, they were different, and I just liked them better. Because I remember I would always try to, like, break as the QB and just try to <laughs> run it to the end zone. Um, that, that was what I would always try to do. Anyways. Man, I'm on a lot of tangents today, huh? So here we have, huh? Okay, we got a bandit here, and we've got something called 
Fort Strand. And apparently there's a quest here. And just to show you guys where this is on the map, it's directly east of Anvil. Apparently there's a quest here. Uh, we'll head inside, I guess, and see if we can get it. I think we just have to head inside of here. I, I don't know if we actually have to start this quest outside. I hope we could just head in. I might actually be screwing myself. God, I hope not. We're basically looking for an NPC, I think. I don't even know what this quest involves uh, whatsoever. Just kind of... Marauder Battle Mage? I mean, Marauder means she's evil, right? So that was necessary, yes? Oh gosh, you know what? Before I head any further, let me make sure that uh, you don't start this quest outside of this fort. Be right back. Okay, just as I thought, you can do this quest uh, by coming here first. You can do it both ways. So let's do that. We're going to continue to use Blade. Um, and I guess we'll break sneak since we want to get as many... Ow! Since we want to get as many hits as possible. Man, this guy is fast. What the hell? Hey, relax. Alright, let's make sure to loot all of these people. Um, just because... You don't gotta think about it any more than that. Just because, okay? Just trust me. Thank you very much. Okay, we still got somebody chasing after me. I heard that it was a female. Hi. Ooh, wait, do you have the... Oh, I've got that perk, too. That's neat. Yeah, I've got that perk, too. Oh, shoot. I killed you. Um, yeah, I've got that perk where you can paralyze people, too. It's awesome, isn't it? Uh, okay, let's see. She's got nothing. All right, we're looking for a certain something in here. I know that much. Um, but I don't know where it is. And hopefully it's not... Just lying on the ground like this. That would be awful because I'm probably going to overlook it. Uh, here we've got the old wooden door to Fort Strand Great Dome. I love chucking, uh, checking out some great dome. You see, my brain says, like, chucking. Today. You know, just sometimes, like, um, I don't know, my, my speech feels like I've got a speech impediment. Other times, I'm totally fine. Other, other times, I can pronounce everything. I can pronounce Albuquerque, you know? been watching some Breaking Bad. That's why I uh, mentioned Albuquerque. Man, that show is great. I actually had a dream about Hank. <laughs> no joke. That's not even a joke. I don't remember. Oh, I remember. I literally... <laughs> oh, God. This is, like, embarrassing, but I don't really care. I literally... Because I've been watching so much Breaking Bad. I'm, like, season... And I've already seen it, but I'm re-watching it. I, I, I was watching it concurrently as it was airing. Um, in... <laughs> In high school. Um, and yeah, I had a... Ooh, Curious of the Blood Legion. We'll just take that. I don't think it's unique, though. Slave Master's Greaves. Don't mind if I do. Longsword of the Glade. Man, this guy's decked out. Clan Fear High... Oh, that's nothing. Um, Yalfi the Contemptible. All right, this is who we want. Down he goes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had a dream, basically, where I was at some party or something, and I saw the actor who plays Hank Dean Norris, and I just went up to him and was like, Dude, I know so many people have probably told you this, but I just want to say that your acting is impeccable. Uh, you really do a great job as Hank, and I just uh, love watching you work on, on Breaking Bad. It's amazing. Uh, that, that was literally the dream. Uh, so you can probably tell I've been binge-watching the hell out of Breaking Bad. All right, if we loot this guy, he's got nothing. But you see, this is what I was scared... Oh, God, no. Did it fall through the... Oh, God. Wait. Hello? Who's there? Oh god, it ha wow, what I was scared of happened. The weapon literally wait. No, there it is. Okay, thank god. Rock Shatter. I've come across an unusual mace named Rock Shatter on the body of a Nord. The mace has a worn inscription on the haft reading To Mava and Balfi Yalfi, in honor of your union. I should hang on to this weapon as I'm sure Mava will want to know her late husband's fate. So you can do it that way by coming here first, or you can uh, talk to the wife first, basically. We'll look at Rock Shatter in a second. Okay. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Uh, we have got... Rock Shatter. Wait, is this unique? Wow, that's some dumb-looking weapon. <laughs> look at that. It looks like a dwarven mace or something. I don't know if that's unique, because they must be rare, because I rarely ever see these... Dwarven maces, or maybe I just never equipped them. 
Uh, blunt one hand, shock damage, 20 points on strike, weakness to shock, 35% uh, 35% for 20 seconds. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Well, let, let's go back to Duskfang, though. So it didn't actually give me a... Wow, it didn't give me a quest marker to the wife? Well, how the hell do I know where she's at? Don't worry about it. Where were you? If I can find that voice, I'll kill you. I'll kill you, I promise you. Uh, because your life to me is worth the blade increase, and that's it. Like, literally, that's what I would use. I would use you to increase my blade. But thank you very much. I'm going to do that right now. See you later. Okay, you, you ain't got nothing. Nothing in here. Man, don't you wish that you could literally just... With all of my acrobatics, just go... Whoop, like, straight up there. That'd be excellent. Um, old wooden door. We didn't come this way, so hopefully this loops around. I really want to get out of Fort Strand. And now, where the hell do I go for the lady? I don't really know. <laughs> oh, man. Why am I still sniffly? Gosh dang. Okay. Well, I guess I just need to figure this out, considering we've got literally... When the vow breaks, uh, it, it seems like it's a it's a it's a town or something. I wish it would give me like a hint here. I mean, there's literally nothing to go on, right? Or am I wrong? Yeah, we've got nothing to go on. All right, well, I'll do some digging, folks, and I'll try to figure out where the hell uh, this wife is. All right, so apparently. Um, this lady is north of Anvil, actually at Whitman Farm, which we've already been to. I guess you could kind of put two and two together that she might be close to Anvil. Um, you know, might be kind of as soon as you exit it, maybe on the road. But I don't think I would have found her on my own. Uh, let's enter even though it's illegal, but we don't care. We're going to do what we want to do. Get your ass up. Yes, I'm trespassing, but don't worry about it. If you see my good-for-nothing husband, Yalfi, tell him I want back what he stole from me. And, uh, perchance, what did he steal from you? Goddess, you have Rock Shatter already? And what's become of Yalfi? Well, uh, he's kind of dead. He was a good man when I married him, but greed took a hold of his heart. While I'm not happy he's dead, I'm glad he's at peace. Well, I'm just glad that it's all over and Rock Shatter is back where it belongs, in my family. I feel I owe you something for your efforts. Hmm, yes. I feel it only appropriate that you have my dowry. I would consider it an honor. Rock Shatter removed. 745 uh, gold, that's not bad. Where does our food come from? The Heartlands. And the Nibbanean Valley. Yeah, great. Cool. Okay. May the goddess and also you. Now go back to sleep, because I'm going to steal this back if I can. <laughs> Alright, let's try to get back in. Does it make sense that the, that the door relocks? No, no, no. Just go. Ah, crap. She's going to see me again, I think. No? Okay. So if I was a developer, I would make it so that you could come back in and steal it. Um, but I would not be surprised if we actually cannot find Rock Shatter. It's probably on her person or on a chest near the bed. Uh, let's just take a look. Ooh, ooh. There is a chest here. It's opened. I feel like they would have put the put, put Rock Shatter in there. Okay, if it's not on her person, then we are out of luck, it seems. And there it is, as well as Beggar Prince and 149 gold. Keep your. Okay. We should be able to loot this, I think, right? Even though it doesn't give me a. What do you think? Uh, let's try it like a couple more times. We might not be able to. Well, it's just, it just goes off of your sneak, right? What do you? There's no pickpocket skill in this game, so it should just be off of sneak, I would believe. <gasps> Why you? I mean, would Darvesh kill this lady? I forget the past deeds that we've done, like how bad they've been. Uh, I mean, Rock Shatter is valuable. Would he kill? I mean, he Well, he's the listener to the Dark Brotherhood, right? I just feel like he's a little more chaotic and crazy as opposed to, like, just evil. Keep your fingers. Um, 
Gosh, I don't I don't know if he would do it or not. Alright, let's try it one more time. Yeah, it looks like it's just not gonna happen. Well, leave in the comment section below, folks. Do you think Barvesh would kill her to take that weapon? I mean, he's got money. But I think he's just greedy. Like, he wants the... You know, he wants it. He, he just wants it to have it. Uh, leave it below. And if, um, you know, depending on what you guys say, don't just say yes just to say yes. Because a lot of people do that sometimes. Like, yeah, he'd totally slaughter a whole town. Because that's, uh, you know, that's... That's... Thought of Ash. No, like, for real. Do you think he would or do you think he wouldn't? If you think... If the majority thinks that he would... I'll go back and kill her and take it. If not, we'll let her be. Uh, let's go to the Leia Wind West Gate now for a brand new quest. Hopefully it's the West Gate and not the East uh, East Gate. I don't remember which one it is. But let's head, uh, head outside. I think we need to head outside for this particular quest. Hey, what do you know? Mike knows much. Tell some. Mike knows many things others do not. Sick. Mike is glad he has a compass. Makes it easy to find things. Much better than wandering around like a fool. Referring to how in Morrowind you kind of just had to find everything, which people like. I think people like it until they actually go back and play it and they're like, oh god. <laughs> uh, I like it too though, but it's that same sort of feeling like, oh, okay, now I'm lost for the millionth time. Mike is glad... Maik, we... Hmm. Perhaps you'll be able to assist me. I'm after some skooma dealers. Uh... What, what, what now? A small group of skooma dealers led by a dunmer named Kaili Sonavo is holed up in the Grayland settlement just up the road. I've been trying to catch Lenavo for months, but every time I approach the place, his lookout sees me, and he goes running. I need someone to go in there and put a stop to those fetchers. I don't care what it takes. We must get that poison they're selling off the street. Right, all off the street. Bring me Lenavo's ring as proof he's been dealt with. And I'll give you the bounty on him. Okay, that works for me. Don't turn your back on Lenavo for a second. He wouldn't think twice about burying his blade there. It's true what everyone... Is. Be vigilant. Lenavo is a... And it alt-tabbed again. Uh, anybody have any issues with that? Anybody have any insight as to why my computer is doing that these days? I have no idea why. It seems to happen no matter what game I'm playing. It keeps alt-tabbing. Uh, and then kind of I have to click the program again to get it running. The computer has all sorts of issues, man. And it is... <sighs> I don't know why. It just feels like it has a disease. But I'm very adamant and vigilant about keeping it safe. So I don't know what's going on. It has been a while since I've gotten it, so maybe it's just kind of time for a wipe, I suppose. Anyways, uh, I suppose we just have to kill these people. Looks like we can get this quest done in this episode. A lot of these settlement quests just seem way too short. Okay. Oh, I was going to let you guys live. Look out! Nice power attack. Not nice enough, however. You pathetic worm. Yeah! Now that's a power attack. Now that's pod racing. Ha ha ha. Okay, buddy. Kylius Lenovo's ring. I've recovered the ring. I should bring it to Larexis as soon as possible to attain my reward. But I think the real reward... They better actually have Skuma in here. What the hell? Or maybe that's part of the quest, but I don't think so. Okay, let's loot this guy. He's got nothing. Glass long sword. Um, well, I... <laughs> Did Bethesda really not put actual skooma in here? That's very disappointing, to say the least. Frontier Conquest. I don't think they'd store it in the in these drawers. Nothing there. Uh, are, are you serious? Not even one bottle of skooma in here. That is very disappointing. Um, I didn't miss it on the table, right? No, nothing there. Oh, maybe in the chest. Ah, okay. There we go. Let's just, um, just a taste, right? Just to make sure that it is actually skooma and that we're doing something good here, right? <sighs> okay. Let's, um, let's move on. 
Uh, just to make sure there's, um, you know, none left in here. Just, uh, you know, just to make sure so that uh, nobody else gets harmed on the streets. The Cyrodiil streets are uh, very uh, cutthroat. And, um, yeah, I just want to make sure that everybody's all good. Okay, pal. Any luck taking down Lenavo? Indeed. You've done it. I can't even begin to thank you enough. By the divines, I salute you in the name of the Legion. Here is your well-earned reward. 595 gold. Thank you very much, pal. Okay, ladies and gents, that is that. Now, just to kind of get some stock as to where we're at. At the time of this video... Ooh, I don't know when this video is going to go up. Oh, actually, no, I do. Let's see. At the time of this video, the beta for Fallout 76 is coming out. If all goes to plan, I'm going to be covering the beta on Xbox One a week early and continue to cover it until the full release of the game comes out. When that happens, Oblivion and Fallout 2 are most likely going to take a break. I might try to record some episodes here and there, but I'm going to devote all of my efforts into Fallout 76. Uh, just because, again, um, even though people are seeming to not like it already... Uh, it's perfect for hidden treasures. It seems like they've put a lot of effort into making a lot of different locations uh, with some interesting stuff that happens inside. A lot of notes and terminals and things like that. So, yeah. I'm going to put all my efforts into that. This episode will take a break, so we'll fall out too. Uh, and that will give me some time as well to sort of uh, figure out all of the things that I have left to do in Oblivion. Uh, because right now it's very confusing as to what I have and haven't done. I need to go into my quest and basically just figure everything out. So... Yeah, um, that's what it's looking like. So, I'll keep you guys updated. What the heck is going on over there? Keep you guys updated. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more of me, all the links are below. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me again. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching this video. If you click my head, you will subscribe to this channel. And to the right of that is a link to some merch. It'll support me and you'll get some cool stuff. And then over to the far right are some more videos that you guys can watch. Uh, thank you again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.